Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents a memorable musical hit, Victor Herbert's Sweetheart, starring Gordon McRae and his lovely guest from the New York City Opera Company, Elaine Malbin. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and the multitude of other things you use in your daily life. Now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, sir, if you're in love, or if you've ever been in love, or if you're thinking of falling in love, we think you'll enjoy Victor Herbert's Sweethearts. Sweethearts make love the best. The charming Elaine Malvin is here to play Sylvia. My name is Franz, and the story begins with a bevy of beautiful girls in the fabulous laundry of the white geese. Oh, we do the whole Not a singing society. Iron. Yes, yes Mama. Mama. Oh, how I hate iron shirts. Oh, I don't mind if it's a military shirt like this one. Oh, don't iron that shirt. It belongs to Franz. And if we finish his laundry, why, he won't keep coming in to ask for it. <gasps> Shh, here he comes. Hello, you little white geese. Is my laundry ready? Name, please. Oh, come on now, Sylvia. You know my name by this time. Rule number two. Don't flirt with the customers. What's rule number one? Don't let the customers flirt with you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Franz, but your laundry isn't ready yet. Good. I'll wait. I'm used to waiting for things. Say, how long do you think I'll have to wait for you to fall in love with me? See, Sylvia, here's the way I feel. When love would have stood as my master When my heart never beat any faster, and I only laughed in his face. Girls fair as the rarest of flowers, girls all. like you very much, but must. No buts. I, uh, I might settle for a maybe. All right. Maybe. For every lover must meet his face. Stop. 
chit-chatting with a uniform. Yes, Mother. My dear madam, what do you have against a uniform? I married one. <laughs> but he ran off and left me with seven daughters, the bum. Now go away. Go away. I've got work to do. Okay, if that's the way you feel. <laughs> I uh, beg your pardon, sir. Can you direct me to the laundry of the white... Your Highness! Shh! Nobody around here knows I'm the Crown Prince of Zelania. Mikel! Shh! Nobody around here knows I'm the Prime Minister of Zelania. <laughs> Mikael, what are you doing here? I lost control of the government. Oh, my poor country. You have no idea how poor it is. Don't forget I was also Secretary of the Treasury. <laughs> oh, Mikael, how I miss my native land. The rolling hills, the rippling streams. Prince. The magnificent landscapes. Hey. Oh, the glorious... Boy, a boy. Look, tourists, we can kid. But you and I have been to Zelania. Let's face it, it's a gopher hole. <laughs> but, Your Highness, if you say the word, I can put you back in the throne of Zelania just like that. Are you sure my people want me? We'll have an election, and I'll count the votes myself. Now, Mikel, I won't have anything to do with your crooked plans. Now, look, Sam, you aren't the only heir to the throne of Zelania. But the other royal house died out. Uh, I wouldn't be too sure. You know, 20 years ago, I slipped out of the country with a female heir, and I left the baby beside this laundry. Now... If there's a pretty girl in there in her early 20s, you know... <laughs> what are you laughing at? Go on in. Have you a surprise coming? All right, I will. Is there a pretty girl in here in her early 20s? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. yes. Here I am. Oh, I never had astigmatism this good. Uh, t tell me, uh, do you all belong to one family? Yes. They call us the little white geese. Well, quack, quack. <laughs> Uh, look, um, is uh, one of you an adopted daughter? Yes, but Mother never told us which one was adopted. Well, I guess I'll have to hang around here until I find out. Now, um, none of you girls are married, I hope. Oh, no. We can't get married because we wear wooden shoes. Well, naturally, you wear wo wooden shoes. You can't get married. There must be something my father didn't tell me. <laughs> I guess you don't know the legend of Jeanette and her wooden shoes. Enlighten me, child. I'm listening all over. The lively Jeanette, for fame, for frivolity, was brightly coquette, who lived just for jollity, had plenty of suitors, had only to choose, and being a Dutch girl, she wore wooden shoes. When she stole out at night, all the town knew the news When they heard the pit-patter of her wooden shoes Then the lads come deep, oh, how jealous they get And they say to themselves, who is out with Jeanette? Jeanette, Jeanette, who is out with Jeanette? spend the rest of her life barefooted. Iron, do you hear me? Oh, 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 Mother's coming. Look, hide me someplace, Wait, please. jump in this hamper of dirty clothes. But don't forget I'm in here when you're sorting this. Remember that I'm the one without the laundry mark. Shh, get in. Here she comes. Didn't I hear a man's voice in here? No, Mama. Oh, well, that's good. Get to work, girls, now. Girls, I think that man in the clothes hamper... Sylvia? Are you back again, Franz? Your laundry isn't ready yet. 
Oh, I'm looking for something you can't wrap up in a package and tie with a string. What's that? <laughs> As if I didn't know. Well, it's something you can never find by looking for it. All of a sudden, you glance around, and there it is. Right out of your own back window. You're right, Brian. Hmm. If you look where love is found, the sort of love that's found and true, I will bid you look around. It may be near to you. Sometimes love is very trying, but you really must not mind it. If it comes not to you sighing, there is always one place you can find it. Seek the dwelling of two happy sweethearts. Sweethearts make love their very own. Sweethearts can live on love alone. Sunshine veiled in shade Such joys of life as love imparts Are all of them yours for Act Two of Sweetheart. Have you ever been in a... ...laboratory tests are followed by field tests. Tests on products as varied as fresh beef, automobile windshields, furniture, grain, and radio sets. And all this study of packing and shipping methods is just part of the research activity being carried on to help your railroads do a still better job of bringing things to you. For research goes on constantly in rails, ties, roadbed, engines, cars, machinery, signals, yards, terminals, in just about every part of railroad equipment, facilities, and operation. Yes, the partnership between railroads and research is close and continuing, designed to keep America's number one form of transportation constantly in tune with the transportation needs of the nation's commerce and defense. <laughs> We're ready for Act Two of the Lawrence and Lee version of Victor Herbert's Sweethearts, starring Gordon McRae as Franz and his lovely guest Elaine Melvin as Sylvia, with Benny Rubin as Mikel. Sweethearts make love their very own. Sweethearts can live on love alone. <laughs> it's all right. Look, you can come out I now. I didn't mind hiding in the clothes hamper. But you didn't have to leave the lid down all through the commercial. <laughs> we know who you are. Papa. Papa? I'm the father of seven girls? Yes. Cantor will never speak to me. 
girls, uh, why don't you all line up and each one give Papa a big hug and squeeze to welcome him home? Hmm. <laughs> Kiss me, my little daffodil. Mm. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> Next. Oh, bust me, little buttercup. <laughs> hey, hey. This is a fine way to run a laundry. When you figure out a better way, let me know. <laughs> What's going on here? Girls, uh, uh, go wash the clothes. Papa has to explain to the gentleman. <laughs> Papa? Sure, Papa. I had to figure out a way to stick around here so I could find out which one is the heir to the throne of Zelani. Which one do you think it is? The prettiest one, naturally. Oh, now, Mikael, how are you going to tell which one's the prettiest? You know, powder and paint makes a girl what she ain't. Who's complaining? <laughs> It matters not what is done by nature for a pretty one. She's never satisfied till she her hand has tried. A touch of rouge applied with skill will make her more like nature still. Her cheeks a shell like pink are all her own, we think. And as this goddess goes her way, she chuckles as she hears us say, she's pretty as a picture, blooming as a rose, grace in every movement, charm in every pose, ha, 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 cleverly. supposed to be my husband. Is this big laundry bag, Mama? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm home, Mama. Mama, kiss me. I'd rather have a nerve killed. <laughs> Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Franz. Still waiting for your laundry? What else? Uh, uh go away, Your Highness. <gasps> I, I mean, uh, your... I, no, no, your, no. Your Highness? Franz, why did he call you Your Highness? Well, Sylvia, you may as well know the truth. I'm really the crown prince of Zelania. Oh, oh, yeah. oh your highness. Well, what difference does it make? Well, a plain girl in a laundry can't marry a prince. Would you marry me? Would you really? I can't ever marry you now. Sylvia! Sylvia, come back! Oh, at least I can go in now and pray. Maybe, maybe I'll find out what I should do.
love somebody, what does it matter who you are? Oh, Sylvia, listen to me. Dying, Papa. Fine business. The leading politician of Zelania pressing ruffles in the petticoat. Iron! Yes, Mama, Papa is ironing. <laughs> why, why is Papa ironing? I'm not even Papa, I'm crazy. Iron! Oh, mangle your own petticoats. I'm getting sick and tired of this laundry. Oh, all right, all right, then get out. All right, I will. If you'll tell me which one of our daughters is adopted. You're their father, you ought to know. <laughs> You know, she's got a point there. Okay, I confess. I am not your husband. Then who are you? I'm the guy who left that baby in your tulip garden 20 years ago. And now I want her back. She's the heir to the throne of Zelania. Oh, my little Sylvia, a princess. Yep. Now our gal Sylvia won't have to ask the question, can a young girl from a laundry in Belgium find happiness married to Zelania's most famous crown friend? <laughs> Sylvia, Franz, come here. Yeah, come on in, kids. We've got some good news for you. What kind of good news, Papa? Don't call this old windbag Papa. <laughs> you were adopted. Adopted? Why, then, Sylvia must be the other heir to the throne of Zelania. Yep. Ain't it convenient how these things work out? <laughs> <laughs> Why, then you won't have to worry about marrying a prince. Because you're a princess. I, I just can't believe it. Hey, kids, your highness says... Look, when the two of you get restored to the throne of Zelania, I, uh, <clears throat> I happen to know of an unemployed prime minister who is between engagements. Has wardrobe, will travel. Oh, no, not a chance. You'll never get a job in my government. <clears throat> Our government, darling. <laughs> uh, yes, of course, my sweet. Well, I'll tell you, we'll make him third assistant secretary of agriculture in charge of corn. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's gratitude for you. Franz, do we have to wait till we're king and queen to, to get married? No. Let's get married right now. Oh, my sweetheart. 
Uh, how do you like that for the ending of a fairy tale, Hans Christian Andersen, the Grimm brothers, or even when a girl marries? I'll give them cards and spades if they can top this one. All other love is doomed to fade. It is like sunshine veiled in shade. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The lovely Elaine Malvin will be back in just one moment. And meanwhile, our thanks to Benny Rubin, who was me, Carol, to Verna Felton, Isabel Jewell, Julie Bennett, and to our entire company. Sweethearts with Book by Harry B. Smith and Fred de Graysock. Lyrics by Robert B. Smith and music by Victor Herbert. Was dramatized for The Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at the same time by the American Railroads. Marvin? For many of you, a reunion at home means a long journey before you get to the heartwarming welcome of your family and friends. And such a journey frequently involves the many hazards of winter weather with its icy roads and stormy skies. So if you're going home this Christmas, take the train. For during the holiday season, as well as throughout the year, the nation's railroads take you where you want to go, dependably and safely. Thank you, Marvin. And now, friends, here again is our delightful guest, Elaine Malvin. It was great fun being with you tonight, Gordon. I love the music, and I was enchanted with the story. Well, it all goes to prove, Elaine, that you never know what comes out in the wash. <laughs> What's on the show train next Monday night, Gordon? We'd be delighted to give you one small hint. Listen. She didn't say yes. She didn't say no. She didn't say stay. She didn't say go. She only knew that he spied her there. And then she knew he left beside her there. That's the cat and the fiddle. Yes, sir. And Jerome Kern at his best. And the wonderful Dorothy Kirsten will be here to sing it with us. We'll all be listening. Good night, Gordon. Good night, Elaine. And come back real soon, huh? All aboard! Well, dear friends, it looks as though we're ready to pull out, and so until next Monday night, on behalf of the other members of the cast and of the American Railroads, this is your friend Gordon McRae saying goodbye. <laughs> Sweethearts was presented by Special Arrangement with the Tams Whitmark Music Library. Gordon McRae will soon be seen in Three Sailors and a Girl in Technicolor. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroads and reminding you that Christmas seals are bullets in the war against tuberculosis. This year, when you mail your gifts and cards, you can help defeat this dread disease by using as many Christmas seals as possible. And now, stay tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. Tonight, the voice of fire.